The next thing we need to do is learn how to work with tables because I've seen in my years of tutoring students do not like statistics when it comes to tables okay and I understand that because they don't explain it nicely but I'm gonna do my best to explain it nicely so let's say we've got this box over here and we need to pack these numbers into that box and while we are doing that we're gonna record what happens okay well we're gonna try and make a summary so we're gonna make a few categories so the first category is gonna go from 0 up to 10 then from 10 to 20 20 to 30 and 30 to 40. Now some of you might be saying but what if you have a number 10 then do you put it here or do you put it here? Good question. Typically in an exam they won't say 0 to 10 they'll do something like this and then just below that they would do something like 20 like that. So what this means is that this category over here goes from 0 and it includes 0 because of that line up to 10 but it doesn't include 10 so it goes 0, 1, 2, blah blah blah, blah up to 9 then the next category which is this one starts at 10 and it includes 10 so if you had the number 10 you would put it in that second category over there but we're not going to need to worry about that for this video so 0 to 10 well that's going to be this one it's going to be this one and it's going to be this one so how many are there? 3 okay so we're going to take each of those numbers and we're going to put them in the box and so those three numbers have been packed neatly into that box. The next category is the 10 to 20 category. So that's going to be the number 11 and the number 15. So how many are there? Two. We then go to the 20 to 30 category and that's going to be this number over here. So there's only one of those. And then the number 30 to 40, well, there's only one of those. And so this is what the table would look like, like that. Now, here's how things are going to change. In class, they're not going to say how many. The word for that in maths is frequency. Okay, now for some reason, my rows and my table have gone a bit weird, but nonetheless, you understand this. So, in a test, they're not going to give you the box with all the numbers, they're going to give you the table. So, you need to understand what this means. It means that in the category of 0 to 10, there were three numbers. Okay, now those numbers could be 3, 5, and 8. Of course we knew what the numbers were. It was the numbers 1, 2 and 3. But you won't know that in the test. So we'll just pretend that. Then in the second category they told us the numbers 10 to 20. There's two of them. So I'm just going to say 15 and 15. I don't know what they are. Of course we knew that they were the numbers 11 and 15 but that's just because I showed you that. And then the number 20 to 30 there was only one so I'm just going to guess that it was 24 but hey hey it was actually 23 and then 30 to 40 was 32. Okay so now if they asked you what the mode is remember forget about the tables now think back to the previous lessons what does mode mean? The mode is the oh they won't call it mode when they do a table they call it a modal class what that means is which row is the mode so mode means the most so which row has the most numbers in it well that would be the 0 to 10 category so in your answer you would say the 0 to 10 category has the most then they're gonna ask you the median class can you guys remember what median means Yes, Kevin, median is the number that is halfway. And you calculate it by saying n plus 1 divided by 2. That's brilliant. That is correct. So n, here's where it gets interesting. What is n going to be? Because I've seen so many students. They're like, oh, Kevin, n is 40, obviously. No, that is not right. Remember n, if I give you a whole lot of numbers, then n is the number of numbers that you have. So you would have to add the 3, because that means there's 3 numbers in that category. You add the 2, because there's 2 numbers in that category. And so if you add those all of these numbers up, you see that there's actually 7 numbers. So you say 7 plus 1 divided by 2, and that gives you 8 divided by 2, which is 4. That is not the answer. That is the position. So what you would normally do is you'd go number 1, 2, 3, 4, and you'd get to 15. So we need to find the fourth number. Well, that's going to be somewhere inside this category let me do that in a different color that's going to be somewhere in this category over here because the 0 to 10 has three numbers so the fourth number would be somewhere in this category so the median class will be 10 to 20 now here's the one that no one likes 
the mean. Remember the mean? That's when the teacher is being very mean because you have to calculate the average. So how would you calculate the average if I gave you these numbers? Well, that's pretty easy, right? You would add them all up, and then you would divide by how many they are. So there's seven of them, okay? So how do we do it with a table? Well, this is where it gets interesting, because remember, you don't actually know what these numbers are. So in the category from 0 to 10, there are three numbers. So they could be a 5, a 7, and an 8. So you would add those together. But the best way to do it, and the proper way to do it, and actually the only way you have to do it, otherwise you'll get it marked incorrectly in the test, is to assume that these, rep so the middle number there is a 5. So you would assume that there are three fives. Then in the next category, the middle number is 15. So there's two of those, remember, because the frequency, what does frequency mean? How many? There's two of them over there. And then in this category, that's 25. There's only one of them, and then 35. Of course, the real numbers were over here, but we don't know that, right? I just showed you that. So what you'd do is you'd go add all of these together. So that's 5, 10, 15. Gives you 105. Then what would you have done over here? You would have divided by the total number of digits. Oh, Kevin, that's just 40, right? No. Remember, that's not 40. The total number of numbers that you would have had, well, there's three here. There's two numbers there. There's one number there, and there's one number there. So there's seven numbers in total. And here we can even see that there's seven numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's 105 divided by seven, and that's 15. So the average is 15. I really hope that by watching this, you understand what the table actually represents. It represents some numbers, but we don't know exactly what they are, so we just pretend that they're all fives for that category, that they are all 15s for that category. But please remember that you must do what you would normally have done if they gave you a list of numbers.